guys, I just saw Chris Rock. In today's vlog, I will be taking you along with me to Fashion Week for all the events and show that I will be attending. If this sounds like something fun and interesting to you, definitely stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. Today, I was invited to a show by an Italian designer. They are showing here in New York Fashion Week. The brand is called Bottega Bernard. I met the founders. A couple of days ago and they are lovely so I'm so excited to attend their show they are showing at flying solo NYC flying solo is a shop or store where they sell a lot of independent designer brand flying solo also invited me to that show so it was just a coincidence the designer invited me flying solo also invited me so we're going to the show let's go fire beneath your feet music when you speak in your soul
guys, I left the show. I've been there for an hour and I was burning, like standing in the sun directly. I had enough. So now I'm going to find something to eat because I have a photo shoot at 3 p.m. So I'm gonna walk to Mercer Kitchen. I think it's not too far. Wish me luck. Oh, my jewelry is Ana Luisa. Scrumptious, very filling, um, and then very, it has a nice bit of bite to it, nice bit of spice. Okay. Yeah. Which one would you recommend out of all of these? Out of all the pastas? Mm -hmm. I think it's like two or one. I like, I like, I like rigatoni better than the organic trumpet pasta. Okay. Especially with, you know, the season's changing, I just feel like it's the perfect time to have rigatoni. Okay, then I'll have that. Perfect. And I'll go check on the Thank you. Oh, thank you. We got I don't know why I'm in the mood for pasta. Actually, I think because I've been watching a lot of um, Italy vlogs, and I'm like, oh my god, I want pasta. Big mess. It's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. Guys, so I am full. Like, my stomach is hanging out there. Now I go get ready for my shoot. And that's it. Flying Solo Show was amazing. They showcased a bunch of designers, including the designer Bottega Bernard, who invited me to the show. So I ended up staying there for about an hour. It was super hot, guys. I was boiling hot. So I finally left. There were more shows happening. Even when I left, I walked over to Mercer Kitchen to get lunch because I had a photo shoot scheduled right after. I had a really packed busy day i did everything that i wanted to do one thing about me if i cross everything off of my to-do list in a day that's an amazing day that's a successful day to me let me know if you're a to-do list type of person if your brain works this way i felt like i accomplished everything that i needed to do
something Hello, special. <laughs> Matches your outfit. Yes. Thank you. Um, no, I'll wait on this. Okay. Um, sorry, I wanted to. Yeah, let's So for the lamb chop, how big? They're like, you know, they're not big, but they're, you know, they're a little bit thick and they're lamb. Okay. With the potatoes. Thank you. 
I met up with my friend Maryama. She had a show at 7 p.m. We were going to go together to that show. But before the show, we wanted to walk outside of Spring Studios to see if there's any photographers so we can get photographed. We did get photographed. It all went according to plan. I saw so many ladies. Fashion Week is, for me, is about the people outside of the shows or the people who are attending the shows as much as it is about the show itself, okay? Sometimes, let me tell you, sometimes it's more about the people who attend the shows or the people outside of the shows more than it is the show because the girls were outside serving looks, okay? Looks left, right, and center. I saw so many influencers that I follow, some of the biggest influencers like Olivia Culpo. Culpo? Culpo? I'm not sure how you say her name. She's one of the top US influencers, millions of followers on Instagram, magazine covers. I saw her, Afro Child. I've seen her a couple of times. I kept running into her. She is so gorgeous, so beautiful in person. And I met some photographers that I will hopefully be working with in the future. It was all about the connections, meeting people. So I enjoyed it. After that, we went to Midtown. We went for lunch at Milo's and then after lunch we went to the Revolve Gallery. This is something that Revolve has been doing. I think this is their second time doing it. Uh, during Fashion Week they set up this gallery where they showcase different designers, brands that they sell. You can also shop while you're there. So we went there, we had a good time, it was vibey, the DJ was off the chains. Oh my god, I was dancing the whole time. We were drinking a lot. Now we tried to rush back downtown to Spring Studios for the show and we didn't make it to the show, okay? We got there way past seven and there was a line outside for that show, but the show was already at capacity. If we wanted to get in that show, we had to be there at least 6.30 to get in there because it was packed, they overbooked. They do this often during Fashion Week, it happens. All in all, I had an amazing day, I enjoyed myself.
So these are the cargo pants. Um, I would want them a little bit looser because that's the whole point of them. Being nice and loose. This still fits, but I like a little bit more room. For my last day of New York Fashion Week, I was invited to an opening slash shopping event with Doors PR. Doors PR, it's a PR agency for independent designers. They also have a store where you can go ahead and shop designers. They were doing an opening with new designers that they haven't sold at the store before. A lot of them are Ukrainian designers. Any sales that they make, I was told some of the proceeds would go to Ukraine foundations. There's something more specific that I don't remember, but I know that they are giving back, which is very important. But first, I went to have an early dinner because the party, the opening party slash shopping was at I believe and I love my look this day. I thought I looked so cute. I thought I looked like a doll I need to shoot this look actually. I really love it and I thought I wanted to go <laughs> Somewhere to see some men's okay, so I wanted to go uh, Somewhere to a restaurant, you know at first I thought I was gonna going to have drinks But I was hungry. I didn't eat all day. So I, I ended up eating there but when I got there, it was pretty dead. When I was getting ready to leave, that's when the men were starting to come. And I was like, uh, you guys are late. You're going to miss out. The restaurant is called Benjamin. It's a stick house, men's galore, if you got the right time. So this is my New York Fashion Week vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next one. Au revoir.